Hello again everyone. In a previous video I showcased my new bare metal dream van. I also spoke about how it was lacking detail. Well, in this video we're going to add detail to the car by putting on our own decals and give the car a unique and different look. So let's dive right in. If you'd like to try this, you'll need the following items. In the upper left we have some scissors. Below that, the top of the dream van. Next to that, I have a burnisher tool. You can also use a dull pencil if you wish. And to the right of that, we have dry transfer decals. These are used on pine car derby vehicles, but they work great on Hot Wheels also. You can find them at Hobby Lobby and on eBay. The first thing we'll need to do is pick out the decal we wish to use and cut it out with the scissors. Careful not to cut the decal or yourself. Okay, that looks good. Now we can check it for a fit. Hmm, looks, looks pretty good. Should work fine. Now, peel the backing off the decal and apply it where you want it. Now we grab our burnisher tool, or pencil, and begin rubbing the decal from the center out to the edges. It is important to start in the center. Failure to do this can cause air to get trapped in the form of bubbles. It does not look good when this happens. Okay, let me set this down and get a better grip on it. Take your time in doing this, and don't get into a hurry. When you finish the top, you can then move to the sides by folding the decal over. I'm not going to make you watch all this, so let's skip to the end. Okay, I've gone over all the decals several times now, so I'm sure I have good adhesion to the part. So now I'm going to begin lifting the plastic off the part. And there we go. Check to be sure everything is where it's supposed to be. Looks pretty good. So now I'm going to go add three coats of clear coat. I use the Tester's brand of clear coat. Dries in minutes and does a great job. This is about an hour later and everything is dry. So let's put the van back together and see the final result. Wow. I really like this much more than the previous version. I love the bare metal look, but this really makes an eye-catching piece. The dry transfers are great. They give high contrast, high resolution images with virtually no thickness. Like water slides, they can bend around edges to give a wrapped look. It may take a couple of tries to get used to using them, but when you do, you can almost apply them anywhere. Well, within reason. They're not cheap, so I use them sparingly, usually on items like the Dream Van that I need that extra something. They also work great on painted surfaces, so I do plan on redoing this van in the future in black and apply the same decal on top. Let me know what you think below. As always, I'm curious to get other opinions. If you have any advice, please leave that below also. Please rate this video, and as always, thanks for watching.